Hello everybody, it is Dr. Steve with a quick follow-up to the admittedly controversial post that I put up online a couple of days ago, a few days ago, about the sit-to-stand test. Can you sit down? Can you stand up? And how much support do you need to do so? And I came across this test online and I thought, wow, that's, that's a great, you know, they, they actually studied it and did some statistics on it and it's a great biomarker you know it's not like it's if you can't get a 10 you're gonna die in 10 years right it's that's insane right it's, it's just the same thing as like saying uh, what's your grip strength grip strength is related to how long you're gonna live because it's just general the more power and vitality you have the longer you're gonna live in general there's always exceptions to the rule so First of all, it's not to say that that rule and that test is not definitive that <laughs> you're going to shorten your life if you can't get up off the floor. But, like I said in the video before, it's very, very important to be able to effectively get up and down off the floor because that's a part of life, that's a part of function. And the reason I think it probably associates, it doesn't cause, but is associated to earlier mortality or earlier death is because you know once you lose that ability you start thinking oh my gosh what if I fall down right or oh what if I have to get down on the floor and what's that do to you if you know it hurts and you know you might not be able to do it then that always is a stress buzz stress pattern that is always running it's an open loop, open loop that continues to run. Even if you're not thinking about it, you're thinking about it, and it's it's like dragging around a heavy weight. It's like the same thing as, uh, you know, that's just another stress. It's another thing that you think about that weighs you down as you go through life. So what if you didn't have to worry about that? Guess what? All of a sudden now you've ate, you're, you were able to let go of one of those anchors. It's like you're going down the river and you've got ten anchors <laughs> dragging behind your boat or like when Rebecca and I went down Current River in Missouri uh, early on when we were still in our courting relationship we threw a rock out the back to kind of slow our canoe down so I could fish as I went down the river and you know I just imagine what if I threw ten rocks out we'd be sitting still right we'd be, we'd be, we'd be stuck stuck right so what if I take one of those rocks out at a time and then we start getting back into the flow of the river. So that's just a, a quick metaphor that just popped into my head. But it's important to get rid of those un or those open loops of stress. If you can't get up and down off the floor, that's a major open loop. What's another open loop? Um, what if uh, your body is constantly under stress due to high blood sugar, diabetes? Case in point, a woman came into my office uh, about two or three weeks ago and just visibly upset. I have I just got back from my doctor and they sh I have diabetes. My blood sugar was 340. And I thought, okay, here we go. You know, she's been under a lot of stress. She hasn't been exercising and she's been falling off the wagon with eating. And I said, hey, you know what? That stress, that contemplation you now have because of this diagnosis is your gift because it allows you to say how can I I got an anchor weighing me down what can I do to pull up this anchor and that's the question you ask it's not oh my gosh how did this happen to me and that's the message she gets from her doctor is you've got diabetes you can't cure diabetes diabetes is incurable it's a disease and that's really what the American Medical Association says about type 2 diabetes is it is an incurable disease. You can, it's irreversible. It's insane. Go get uh, Simply Raw. You can reverse it within days, within 30 days for sure. And already, you know, within just, uh, I think it was two weeks, two to three weeks at the most, maybe two weeks, uh, she, all she did was she started walking more and she started drinking green smoothies every single day. <laughs> she cut out starches and her green smoothies are very low glycemic index. There's not a bunch of fruit in it. So it's vegetable juices. 
vegetable smoothies. And you know what? She was 340 her first day, and she sent me her log, her Excel document with her database. 340, 282, 181. <laughs> you know, it's just down to, and now she's down to the, between, uh, you know, in the lower 100s when she wakes up in the morning and lower 100s at, at night. Down from 340. And that's in two weeks. So incurable. What? Uh, so there you go. I'm sorry. It's kind of a, this is going to be kind of a free flow situation today. But now, guess what? That anchor is getting less and less and less, and now she's going to flow down the river. So what else? So that's, uh, that's a, so I talked about a mental loop, right? With worrying about something, about being, up, be, being able to get up and down off the floor. And I talked about a physical loop, meaning you can't get up and down on the floor because you don't have the actual coordination and uh, and power to actually do that and I talked about the nutritional loop which is being able to uh, uh, well <laughs> not pushing it being able to have a a, a a metabolic situation in your body a cellular health that allows you to be relaxed and confident and at peace so those are, those are the three pillars of core wellness right mindset movement and nutrition and they all affect what? You know, the, I talk about posture. I talk about cross-posture syndrome. It's, I, you know, I talk about folding in. But that folding in, that pattern that we get into, is nothing more than the reflection or the three-dimensional result of all of those things that you're dragging around in your life. The more things you drag, the more you look like this. The more you look like this. The more your lungs close down, the more pain you have, the more disability you have, the less vitality you have. It's all about opening up. So, uh, another thing that happened as a result of this uh, sit to stand video, or you know, sitting rising video that I I put out the other day, is that someone very angrily unsubscribed from my list. And this really hurt. Uh, basically, she accused me of using fear tactics for profit. <sighs> now, I had a really, really big problem with that because, you know, I have been giving and giving and giving for since 2008. I've been putting free. I've got 162 free YouTube videos online, and I just can't answer the questions I need to answer anymore. I can't spend time answering all the questions on YouTube, or else I'd, that's all I'd be doing all day would be answering YouTube comments, right? So that's the reason I've started this coaching program that I'm starting. Just you know, if it's not now, it's going to be happening within the next couple of days, where monthly you can just get access to me and ask me any question you need, in addition to all of the same program materials that I use in my office with mindset, movement, and nutrition to help people break out of cross posture syndrome and live a healthy vital life. So um, I'm sorry, well she probably won't get this because I don't know if she or he, I can't remember, because she has unsubscribed, but if, you know what, I'm going to be offering things for sale. And I'm going to be offering my services for sale. I'm going to be making more uh, opportunities for you to actually purchase and benefit from that goes a lot deeper and goes more step by step than what you've gotten from over me, from me for the last, uh, you know, uh, two, four, three years uh, on just my free stuff. So if that offends you, bless your heart. You know, I, I'm sorry. Please unsubscribe. But there will be an offer every once in a while. There'll always be the free stuff, guys. Um, that's my mission. My mission is to get this word out. And so. And, <laughs> you know, there's so many people who have just benefited from the free stuff. I get emails j just about daily, guys, who say, I'm just, you know, since I've been doing your free information online, I've been able to get rid of my back pain. I've been able to walk properly again. I've been able to play with my kids. I've been able to get up and down off the floor. All of these, all of these testimonials, I mean, I can't even, I, hundreds that I, every time I get one, I put them into my mailbox, it says testimonials, testimonials. That's from the free stuff. So I'm going to continue doing that, but I am going to be offering this stuff for sale as well. Like I said, if that offends you, please unsubscribe.
and I won't be offended whatsoever. And I just wanted to give you some perspective on what I'm doing, what I hope to accomplish, and what I hope you get out of this. And that's a pain-free, strain-free, energetic life that you can live and have more fun with. Right? That's what it's all about. Let's have more fun. Let's be at peace. Let's close our loops.